Can you guys remember a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about reviewing a fragrance that came out in the year 1994? Well, I'm about to give you that review. Bit late, I know, but it's here. And this fragrance is absolutely phenomenal. Now, before I go ahead and show you guys, I mean, I know you know what, it, what the fragrance it is just by the title of the video, but before I show you guys what it looks like and stuff and before we go into the review, I just want to say this. I never thought that I would review this fragrance because this has been on my wish list for as long as I can remember. Uh, someday I thought that, you know, I, I hoped that I would at least have a full bottle of this. However, due to its rarity, due to how expensive, like, expensive it is online, I haven't really been that lucky, okay? But I have actually been gifted with a 4ml miniature of this very rare juice. Now, if you look on eBay, you will find ridiculous prices for this fragrance. For, I believe, the 50ml or the 100ml. I mean, uh, the amount of times I've been on eBay just to see if they've got any cheap deals for this fragrance, every time I've gone on, the prices have been ridiculous, so I don't think this fragrance is ever going to come down in price. But if you're able to get a miniature like me, maybe after seeing this review, I really do hope you can find one, because I am so happy with the way this fragrance is. The way it smells, the overall name, just... It's real, it's an amazing scent. So guys, because I'm really into my vintage fragrances, this is probably the ultimate and probably the most treasured fragrance, I guess, that uh, that I could ever have in my collection. This one to me is just, it's gold. It's like a piece of gold that I've been so lucky to have. And you guys might have heard of this fragrance, I don't know. But the fragrance itself is this. I'm going to put my little lamp right here and I'm going to put the fragrance here. So the fragrance is Heaven by Chopard. Now, some of you might know this fragrance, you know, especially from if you lived through the 90s, you will know that this fragrance was actually not very popular. So this fragrance is classed as an aromatic, woody, fresh fragrance. Um, I wouldn't really know what else to really call it apart from it's, it's, it's a perfect aromatic, basically. This is a citrusy aromatic with sort of balsamic, fresh and powdery notes. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the presentation before we go on to the smell. So. Let's talk about the presentation for Heaven by Chopard. Now the bottle design, guys, is just... <laughs> for a little bottle, like, I think it's really attractive. Like, we get this really nice sort of um, Neptune blue coloured bottle. And we get uh, these... what it looks like to me are like... They're kind of like angel's wings just going above the bottle there. You can't really... you might not be able to really see it, but... Uh, oh no, you might be able to see it there. Kind of. Yeah, it doesn't really do justice. But um, it's a beautiful bottle. We get Heaven, Chopard, Eau de Toilette. And on the back here we get Parfum, Chopard, Paris. Uh, Paris Genève, made in France. Okay. Now, when I, w when I first came across this scent, I was expecting it to smell like cool water, maybe like Jupe Night Flight, or, you know, all of these sort of, you know, late 80s, early 90s sort of, Fougere aquatic fragrances and I'm gonna be honest it does but the smell itself is it's it's something else it's it's something really unique so guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna apply it to my skin I'm gonna talk about the notes okay so here we go okay now this fragrance does actually smell like um, two other fragrances but I'll get onto that in a minute I've got no space on my skin Okay, well, well, yeah, we'll put it on my wrist here. Here we go. I just can't believe that this fragrance is so expensive. It's shotgun. Like, some of the prices that you can get this fragrance for. I mean, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, let's, let's talk about the notes for Heaven by Chopard. Now, in the top of this fragrance, we get the notes of lavender, bergamot, Brazilian rosewood and lemon and just so you guys know this fragrance was designed by the perfumer of Michel Almarac who is actually one of the, the most well-known perfumers in the world however this fragrance is one is definitely not one of the most well-known fragrances in the world but in terms of the smell here's what I get so what I get is this refreshing burst 
of this sort of sharp, peppery lemon with a little bit of that rosewood giving it a nice, you know, woody, woody smell. But the bergamot, and it's like that combination between the bergamot and the lemon, it just creates this very unique, fresh smell. Um, definitely haven't really smelled anything like this apart from, now I know that I said I was going to mention this before, but it kind of reminds me of fragrances like Wings by Giorgio Beverly Hills, and it also kind of reminds me of Horizon by Guy La Roche. So, you know, sort of like typical early 90s aquatic scent with peppery elements, soapy elements, and balsamic elements with a lavender smell. It's a strong citrusy lavender scent. That's basically what this fragrance is. It's funny because the smell of it to me is it doesn't smell, it smells like a richer version of fragrances like Night Flight by Jupe and, you know, Wings by Giorgio Beverly Hills or Horizon by Guy La Roche. It's like a richer version of those. The, the citrusy notes are very rich in this fragrance. It's a very sort of tangy, zesty scent in the opening, but it's got this very nice sweetness and that comes from the base. So for now, let's go and talk about the middle notes. So the middle notes for this fragrance, we get Cyclamen and Jasmine. So after this fragrance has been on your skin for about an hour, you get this very nice jasmine note. It's rich, but it creeps up just out of nowhere. It's like once it's been on your skin for that 45 to an hour mark, it just literally reaches up and it's like, <sighs> but yeah, that's kind of what it's like. It's, it's, it's like a very surprising jasmine note and it's very rich and it actually smells pretty realistic as well at this point. So the fragrance definitely gets better the longer it's been on your skin, but I do like it for those citruses in the top. But it, like I said, it's much better once it's been on your skin longer. So let's talk about the base notes. So the base, we get tonka bean, amber, musk, and cedar wood. So this fragrance probably lasts for about five to six hours on my skin. Typical scent life, you know, for a fresh sort of fragrance like this. But I will say this. Now, I know what I said about this, you know, about this fragrance being very rare and stuff. And because I've mentioned that this is pretty much no different than your typical late 80s, early 1990s sort of fougere aquatic scent, it still has something in there which makes it fantastic. I can't quite pinpoint what it is. It's, it's almost like this very rich, sweet smell. It's like an amber. It's like an amber with a little bit of musk, just giving it a nice sort of soft, sweet oriental base. Like, it's so, so good. And you pretty much get the amber throughout the whole scent, but once it's been on your skin for even just about 10 minutes, the fragrance itself comes to life. It's like rich citruses with a very nice woody smell with that rosewood. Then after that hour mark, like I said, you get that very nice jasmine note. It just kind of peeps up out of nowhere. It's like, hi. And then in the base notes, you're just left with this very nice amber note. I would say the tonka bean is also quite visible. It creates like a nice kind of a creaminess in the dry down. But what, what I love about this fragrance is that it's just, it is liquid gold. It is an amazing fragrance. And the name itself, Heaven, uh, if, you've, if you've ever seen the, the poster for this fragrance, it's absolutely beautiful. Just this masculine guy flexing his muscles in the clouds, basically. It's meant to be heaven, basically. But the smell itself is just very, very nice. I can imagine a lot of people really enjoying this, especially if, you know, if it was still in production, I do think that it would still work. But, um... I'm really happy to get my hands on this and to finally get my nose on it. I absolutely love it. So guys, if you've enjoyed my review for this, please let me know in those comments. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, yeah, don't give me a thumbs down. Uh, that would, yeah, that would suck. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Keep smelling good. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye-bye for now. Hmm. They don't make them like this anymore.